We are approaching the Yamantau bunker, the final destination of our long journey. Direct radio contact with the bunker has completely dissolved Miller's resentment towards me for destroying our previous lives. He is eagerly anticipating the meeting with the Minister of Defense he was promised. Probably such things are important for a career officer. The people, though, are less interested. They are asking important questions. Where are the occupying forces? Why is there just wilderness and people gone wild around? What's stopping the government from restoring the country? What was being done in the last 20 years? Miller believes that we'll get all the answers. He will be pardoned as well as Anna and I. And we will all return home to the metro. to the safe zone and sit tight there. We do that right now. Stepan, you're in charge while I'm away. Sorry, yes, sir. Great. Let's go. This place. Worse than Moscow. Yeah, looks like it. See that crater? Wonder what the yield was on that one. Looks like a hundred to me. A lot. Your guys used to have three and five hundred ones too. Well, even a hundred seems to have done okay. <laughs> Now we shouldn't have come here, really. Okay, so where's my welcoming committee and red carpet? I don't get this. Oh, see, nobody home. How about we go back, huh? Bye. Look.
Identify yourself. Colonel Miller, here to report to the Minister of Defense. And where are your people, Colonel? With the train. It's dangerous outside. Contact them and tell them to take the train into the main airlock for decontamination. Welcome to the Ark, Colonel. Proceed through the tunnel and take the elevator. You'll be met inside. Minister, Commander of the Joint Special Operations Forces, Squadron of the City of Moscow, Colonel Miller, reporting. I would like to request that my people are provided with temporary quarters and supplies, as there are women and children among us. Still, our fighters are in top shape and ready for action. Women and children? <laughs> Good. Haven't had those in a while. Who are you? is planned. Everyone is fine. So far. So far? <laughs> I, I demand a, a meeting with the Minister of Defense now! Do not worry. Everything will be just fine. And even better. The Minister and the Chief himself are expecting you for dinner. Dinner? What the hell? Are you fucking mocking me? Shut up! The doctor is talking. Where is the government answer? All here, Colonel. All here. We are the government you people deserve. Don't you dare, you fuck! You're just... You're just fucking cannibals! 
Calm down. We will get John this like this. And believe me, nobody likes that bitter taste. The girl will have to wait, though. We must run the tests first. I don't like that cough of Untie hers. my hands, you motherfucker, and I'll shove those tests so far up your ass, you'll be spitting Watch them. your tone, young lady. Do as that young man does. He woke up long ago, but quietly listens to wise people talk. Uh, you fucker! Let me... let me go! Not a single. So, Colonel, now you will pick up the radio and tell the rest of your people on the train to come here. If you don't want her to suffer for a really long time before she is served. Do you understand? And here I was hoping for an intelligent conversation for a change. Alas. That's not a problem, though, since this nice young man will surely do it instead. He won't dare be contradictory once we're done with you. Well, nice meeting you and all. Yakov, you may start. I'll get you even after I'm dead. That may well happen, Colonel. I could choke on you or something. In the meantime... I'll excuse you myself. Come here! I'll rip you all apart! Every last one of you should have done that before the war! But oh, I'll get you now! Burn this town to a ashes! Long time so since the dirty fools remain! Now we'll be fooled again! Good. Like our old D6. Even the lift is the same, exactly. True. That's quite fortunate. This way, we can hope to find Anna. Still, the complex is huge, and we have ten minutes at the most. So, we'll have to split up. Sam, you check the filter room, the generator hall, and the storage. Idiot, 
You come with me to the command center. Tharjum, you take the barracks and the sick bay.
Artyom, I knew! Behind you! There is always one like you! A hero! You're not saving anyone! Just like the others! So just... Freeze! Yes, yes! Let just, him just go! Don't kill me! Now! Remember what I told you! There was an ex... Enough chatter! <laughs> Are you all right, Artyom? Thank God. Let's report to the Colonel. Dad, it's me. Anna, are you okay? Where are you? In the sick bay. Artyom found me. Too fast, though. I need to catch my breath a bit. <sighs> this whole situation, though. I thought we wouldn't see anything worse than that cult on the Volga. And that Zelantius with his damned fanatics. <sighs> but no. It appears there was still space for growth. We could have gotten killed there. We almost got eaten here. That bastard. Unbelievable. To think he used to be a doctor. Don't matter. We'll see what happens now. We did survive him, after all. But what do we do Holy now? damned if I know, Anna. No idea. Have you found anything, idiot? Their defense sites, HQs... All the information is outdated. All links are long gone. Still, the ones that light up worked for at least a few years after the war. 
What's down there? It's Caspian One, a comm center. There's one more just like that in Novosibirsk. <coughs> Are you going to drag us to some other bunker now? I don't know. We have to make the decision together. Take that around, Tim. It's getting quite hot in here. Did you get everything you could, idiot? We're leaving. One moment. I'll finish breaking everything here. Come on, come on. Okay, all done. I don't think you should have put it like that, Alan. It all worked out this time, didn't it? It worked out. It really did. My concern is what if next time it doesn't. You're right, of course. But do you intend to live forever? <laughs> of course not. All the more reason to strive and spend more time with what is allotted to me. With that guy over there. I'm growing attached to him. <laughs> that I understand. I think I believed those pricks from Hansa. I believed that Moscow was controlled by the HQ. That we were under occupation. That we were still in war. That there were generals here giving orders. What an idiot, Suka! I will repeat my question. What do we do now? Could we go back to Moscow? Tell them the truth about the war. The government. They'll shoot us on approach. And even if we do break through, what can we do against Hansa? Who'd believe us with no proof? <laughs> what about going back to Volga? We could live there. What do we do about the locals? They weren't exactly happy to see us there. Do we kill them all? Is anybody here up for that? Back in Moscow, Artyom had been dreaming of finding a habitable place and building a colony there. Isn't it time we got to it? The idea is good. But how do we find the place? Just keep traveling? The Aurora needs an overhaul. <coughs> what do we do if it breaks down? Satellites. What satellites? You want to leave the fucking planet? There's a satellite communication center on the Caspian Sea. It survived the war. Oh. And <coughs> if we gain access to the data collected by the satellites... We won't have to travel randomly. <coughs> Radiation level maps, even your regular satellite photos could really help us out here. 
That's an idea. What if there is something worse than cannibals there? <coughs> Could well be. But first, we're going to be really careful this time. And second, does anyone have any better ideas? I don't. Well, I guess we've got ourselves a new plan. Artyom, shall we look for the place you wanted? Sound the horn, then! <coughs>